I've been selling on Amazon for about two and a half years now. As of last year, as of the second year, I started realizing more and more how important it is to go out of Amazon and to build a brand and an audience and something that's really bigger than Amazon. That obviously meant that I needed to start a Shopify store and I finally got to do that. But when I was doing research to figure out how to start a Shopify store and then link it to Amazon so that Amazon fulfills the orders from the Shopify store, because that's what I really want and that's what I assume you guys want as well. We want to automate this thing so that when people buy from Shopify from our website, Amazon fulfills the orders and we don't have to go send a box or send a product to the customer. It just happens as if they're buying it from Amazon. It's just that they're buying it from your store. And yeah, for some reason, I couldn't find an exact solution to this, whether on YouTube, or on Google and at first I thought I needed an extra tool or an extra service and I signed up for something called ShipStation and then I started working with them but then eventually realized that I don't need them. So after talking to Shopify's customer service, one of them helped me to connect Amazon to Shopify. So now whenever someone buys from my store, all I have to do is at the end of the day or the next day or the same minute, go to the order and I just click one button that says request fulfillment. And then Shopify is connected to Amazon. Shopify goes there and creates a fulfillment order automatically after I click that button. Amazon sends the product to the customer. So if you wanna learn how to do that, that's what I wanna show you in this video. And obviously I'm not an expert at this. I just started Shopify, but I wanted to make this video because I couldn't find how to do this myself. And I get this question asked a lot in my Facebook group and just in my DMs. So I thought I'd show you my beginner perspective to you, the beginner. If you're new to the channel, what's up? My name is Samer Brax. I usually make videos on my personal journey with Amazon FBA. Now I'm doing Shopify for my Amazon store. So that's where I'm at. And I'll be doing a lot of videos on my journey here because I just started and it's not easy at all. It's, it's a lot harder to get sales and traffic to Shopify and convert that traffic. So I'll be documenting that stuff on my channel. So if you do want to see how that goes, subscribe and click on the bell to get notified when I post and let's get into this. So before I jump on my computer and show you exactly how it's done, I wanted to give you a few reasons on why I personally decided to jump on Shopify and um, start using it for my brand. And super quickly, because I don't wanna waste time in this video, but they might be obvious. The first reason is that you have a lot more control over your audience. You get so much data. You get their email, their address. You even get to see them live on your store. You can see where someone is, whether they're on the cart or they're checking out. You can see all that information. So it's a lot of very valuable data that you can use for your business that can make you a lot more money compared to the huge lack of data that we have on Amazon that you, you probably know how it works. Also, your profit margins are a lot higher higher on Shopify. Why? Because first of all, there is no fulfillment fees. There is no referral fees from Amazon and there's no shipping fees because technically you're making the customer pay for shipping. So let What's up? I just wanted to point out super quick that I noticed it's not exactly true. It's only true if your prices on Shopify are higher than Amazon and you're making the customer pay for shipping. So if your prices are equal and then you're making the customer pay for shipping, then eventually on Shopify, they're gonna pay more. But if you want them to end up paying the exact same thing, then you're not really saving up on uh, shipping. Then you're only saving on the referral fee, which is 15%. You're still saving money, but it's not that much if your end price is exactly the same. Now that doesn't mean that you have to have the same pricing between Shopify and Amazon. I just wanted to add this to clarify that if it it is the exact same price, then you're not saving the shipping fee. Do the math and it'll make sense. Also, I don't know why this video became orange, but um, enjoy. Less costs and you can raise your prices because there's no competition on your page. They're not gonna scroll down and find another listing that's priced cheaper than your listing. So with Shopify, you can feel free to raise your prices to where you really feel that your product's price deserves to be at. And then finally, one of the biggest, most exciting things about Shopify is the fact that you get paid either the same day or two to three days after. If you know me, if you've been watching my videos, you know that my biggest struggle and just any Amazon seller's biggest trouble is cash flow. Amazon loves to hold your money for two weeks and sometimes even more. With Shopify, if the customer buys with PayPal, I'm seeing the, the payment go through to my PayPal the same day. So that's cash in my pocket the same day. And then if they pay with a credit card, it goes straight to my bank account in two to three days. And I'm Canadian, I'm in Canada, and I sell in the US. And usually for Amazon, you need a US-based bank account to not lose on fees and conversion rates. With Shopify, I'm using my Canadian-based US dollar account and it works perfectly. So that's huge because now we can get a lot more money a lot quicker to use that money to scale better and to just have more money for ads or for whatever else you need the money. And that's really been motivating me to push Shopify a lot more. Whenever I need money, I can get it in one day or two days if I get sales on Shopify. And that's why if you saw my last video, that's why I was really excited about seeing some results with my Shopify store. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link it at the end of this video 
video, just stick around and it's a really good video that you should watch. Also, if my goal is to build a brand, then obviously I need my own website. Whenever I tell someone about my product, they go like, okay, what's your website? And I go like, no, nah, go to Amazon and find it there. So it's not ideal. You want to have a website. I considered other options other than uh, Shopify. There's WordPress, which is, I think WooCommerce is under WordPress, something like that. But I haven't done that because Shopify is a lot simpler and you'll see that in a second. As much as I love flexibility and being able to modify as many things as possible, for now, Shopify is going to be enough. But yeah, I'm talking too much. Let's just jump on my computer and I'll show you how you can set up your Shopify store and connect it to Amazon. So I'm going to start it from scratch as if you're starting a Shopify store from scratch. If, and if you want to follow along, I have a link in the description that will give you a free 14 day trial. It is an affiliate link. So if you do use it, I get a bonus. So thank you so much. If you want to do that, that's your way of supporting this channel and supporting this free content. You don't have to use it. You can just go to Shopify and create your own uh, website. But if you do use the link in the description, thank you so much. So you'll put your email address here. And guys, this is a very good tip for you guys. Temp email, temp mail, temp mail.org. If you ever want to opt into someone's email list to just spy on what they're doing or funnel hack someone and you don't want to flood your, your inbox with useless emails that you don't want, go to this website and then use this as an email. So I'm going to use that now right here. Start free trial. Password, your store name, let's call it Bye Bye Bezos. Since we're moving from Amazon to Shopify. Are you selling? Selling, just not online. Actually, no. I sell a different system. Amazon. Existing. We're making a million dollars. Next. First name, Samer Brax. Please subscribe. Enter my store. And that's it. Now you have a 14 day free trial with Shopify. You can start building your store. It was pretty simple, no credit card needed. So now what you're gonna do first is connect it to Amazon, okay? So you're gonna use this article, which is gonna be very helpful. I couldn't find it until I called someone from Shopify and they showed it to me. And I'll link it in the description below. You can go check it out. This is basically pretty much all that you need. You can just stop the video now and just go do this. But for the sake of showing you how to do it step by step, we'll go through it and then we'll add some few things that you wanna make sure to do with your Shopify store. So the first thing, after you set up your Amazon Seller Central account, which I'm sure almost all of you should have this since you're already selling on Amazon, click on this link, click on this, and then log into your Amazon account and just follow the steps. It's very simple. If you've added Feedback Quiz or if you've added Helium 10 to your account on Amazon, it's pretty much the same uh, process to connect Amazon to Shopify. Now, the next thing that's pretty important is you need to set your shipping rates for fulfillment by Amazon. Again, like I said, people are gonna go to your store they're going to buy something and they're going to choose whatever shipping they want, whether it's standard or two day or one day, and they're going to pay for it. And then Amazon is going to fulfill that order for you. So in order to do that, you need to have the same shipping options as Amazon has so that you can go tell Amazon which exact option they chose. So go to settings, go to shipping and then manage rates right here. So the first thing we're going to do is actually make sure that we're only selling in the US. Depending on your category, and that's I think pretty much all categories on Amazon, you can't send, you can't create a fulfillment order to outside the US. I could be wrong about this, but I, my category specifically, I couldn't. And I'm pretty sure that most categories you cannot send an order outside of the US. So your store, unfortunately, is gonna be only for US citizens. Delete Canada, delete the rest of the world, and only USA. So this is where you're gonna have all your shipping options. So you would delete all of these. I kept this one, it's up to you to keep it or not. Maybe it is cool of you to give them for free if they spend over $100 and that might incentivize them to buy more. But you add a rate from here and then make sure that it's the same exact wording as it is here. So copy, paste. So now how much would you charge them? And this right here is going to help you figure that out. So if you open it right here, these are the rates according to the size of your product. Okay, so figure out what your product size is. So less than a pound and small standard or large standard size, and then put that amount as the price for the shipping type. If you want a shortcut or if you want to make sure that you're right about what you chose, what you can do is you can go to your Amazon Seller Central, go to inventory, manage inventory, Find your product and then click on the arrows right here and then click on create fulfillment order. 
fill this up and go to the uh, to the last step to see how much it's going to ch charge you. And then if you look right here, that's the pricing that it's going to give you for the standard shipping option. So $5.95, comparing that with a table, that'll help you know if you are choosing the right price or not. And again, this is an estimated fee, but when I checked with my orders that I sent to my Shopify uh, customers, the standard one costed exactly the same as the estimate. And this is an expedited one, which was like two-day shipping. Comparing it right here with two-day shipping, it's the same thing, $8.35. You can create a mock uh, order and then see what this gives you, see what this one gives you, and then see what this one gives you, $13.85. And it's pretty safe to say that this is probably what it would cost you or cost the customer and charge them that. So go back here, put that number here and done. Now again, add another rate, make sure it's the same thing as it would show on Amazon. So two day shipping, two day shipping is the name right here. Now two day shipping would be this one which is 835, which on that table is actually called expedited shipping. And then the one day shipping is called priority shipping. So don't mix them up too much. Make sure you know which one you're choosing. So now we created all three shipping options, standard shipping, 595, two day shipping, 835, and one day shipping. You'll need this later, but make sure you know that two day shipping is the expedited one and one day shipping is the priority one. You can see it here, two days, one day, next day. So now your customers are gonna see this as they're checking out of your Shopify store. Say it then you can go to products and add your products over there so add a product it's very simple let's say we're selling these taco holders just take the title as it is paste it here or you can create your own title for Shopify if this is too long copy the description right here we're assuming that this is our product of course and the price so this is the price that you're gonna sell it at let's say it's $18.95 and then compare at price, this could be a higher price, which is, let's say it's $25, it's gonna be crossed out, and then it's gonna say that it's $18.95. And this queue can be found in your manage inventory right here under this column. Make sure that it's the same one, the same way it's named here for that specific product. So put this queue, and then I personally didn't put anything here. I'm not sure if that's right or wrong. Let me know in the comments if you know. You put the availability, and this is gonna be how many units you're available to sell, so as many units as you have. Put the weight right here, and then save. So now if you go back to all products, you're gonna see that we have one product right here. This next step is very important. Click right here, and then click on edit products. I'm just gonna show you how it looks from my own store because we needed to uh, actually connect Amazon for this to show up. But click on add fields, and then make sure you have fulfillment service uh, clicked and SKU clicked so that it shows here in the table. Make sure that the SKUs are exactly the same way written as they are on Amazon for the exact product. And then fulfillment service, click on the arrow. And instead of Shopify, click on Amazon Marketplace Web. So once you've connected to Amazon, which I haven't here in this video, you will see Amazon Marketplace web. And that's how you're going to properly connect Shopify to be fulfilled by Amazon. Next, we can set up our online store. It's pretty simple. You just have to choose a theme. I just went with the basic theme, customize it. And that's what it's going to look like. So you can replace photos here, change the text here. So that's the header, that's what's on top. Uh, what I personally did for the header is I added an, an announcement that said right here, if you are not in the US, click here to shop on Amazon. Because with my Amazon product, I have global shipping turned on where from amazon.com people can buy it from any country if Amazon ships to that country. So since Shopify is only for the US, I gave people the option to go to Amazon to buy it if they are not in the US and they somehow found my, my store. So earlier we made sure to limit the shipping options to only the US and that's important because I forgot to do that and then I got a sale from Australia. Don't ask me how, I'm, I wasn't even promoting my product or my, my store. Somehow someone in Australia found it on Instagram and bought it and I couldn't send them the product. I had to like buy it my, myself and then send it to them as if I'm the customer buying it. So this way I knew that people would wanna buy it from outside the US and I gave them this option to click here and go to Amazon and buy it from there. So put the link of Amazon here to your store and then save it. And then you can modify all this stuff. So featured collection, you can even remove sections and remove this section. And then you're left with just an introductory photo and some text about your store and then your product and that. So this is a very basic store. I'm not gonna show you how to create a converting store because I'm still learning how to do that. I just wanted to show you how to connect your store to Amazon. Another important thing that I want to show you how to do is to connect your domain to this store because right now it's going to show as buybuybasos.myshopify.com but you would want it to be buybuybasos.com or myamazonbrand.com or whatever 
whatever your brand is. So either buy the new domain or if you already own a GoDaddy account, I just put this here so I can show you what it looks like. You can connect it manually by clicking here and just follow the instructions here. It's pretty simple. Once you're done, notice that right here it says that your store is password protected. That means if someone's going to go to your website, it's going to ask them for a password to see your website. So disable the password. To disable the password, you need to pick a plan and that's where they get you. You need to pay $29 a month. So when you're ready, when you have everything ready and you're confident about it, come here and remove the password and connect or choose the plan that you want to pay. I'm using this one right now. It's enough for me. I'm not sure when I would choose these other ones. But for now, as a beginner, this is working for me. I want to finally show you how to fulfill an order once you do get an order. So once someone buys your product, hopefully a lot of people are going to buy your product. You need to tell Amazon to send them one unit so you'll get an order right here you'll see one two or hopefully maybe ten thousand for you if you're selling a lot all orders click on that and then you'll find the order that you want to fulfill it'll say right here unfulfilled in orange click on it and then click on request fulfillment and then finally choose the shipping method that the customer chose so the customer wanted to get it with standard shipping. They also had the option for two day shipping and one day shipping as we set it up. So on the right side, you can see what they chose. That's number one. Number two, you'll choose it to tell Amazon with how to ship it and then fulfill items. And that's it. Amazon will get this information and send the uh, product to the customer. So then you'll see that it, that it says pending fulfillment. And then on Amazon, it'll look something like this. It's an Amazon fulfilled order. And you can even go to your Shopify order and scroll down and you'll see the information, the, the details of what happened. So first the customer placed the order, they paid, and you get the point, you see all these details. And then finally you'll see that it says fulfilled right here once it's actually fulfilled. And you can go into the Shopify order and find the UPS tracking number. And I think that's pretty much all the steps that you need to know for now. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, please. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please click the thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, Again, like I said, I'll be talking more about Shopify and about the outside of Amazon things while, of course, still talking about Amazon itself. If you do want to see that stuff, subscribe and click on the bell to get notified when I post. And click right here if you want to see a video where I talked about how I got my first Shopify sales for free without any paid advertisements. It was a pretty cool strategy and very beginner friendly. So click right here to watch it and I'll see you guys there. Peace. But doing it this way, you're just showing your store in front of an audience that's already there from the influencer. And that audience is already interested in your product or your type of niche.